Assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to have a review of x-rays of chest and x-ray of lateral view of skull from the Shruti Dhingra as in my previous video of whose title is that how to read a normal chest x-ray and lateral view of the skull I have told you about the protocol of reading a normal chest x-ray and lateral view skull I have also shown you dentures there and I have also told in that video about the thumb sign and sleeper sign that are shown in acute epiglottitis and um, in the case of group respectively and you must know in order to appear in your ENT OSPE exam or you must be knowing already so it is good so in order to understand this video this video will be of no use if you have not watched that previous video so it is my humble request to watch that before so that you can clearly understand that what I am saying what I am trying to say in this video okay so let's start here is the PA view PA view how you can say that this is the PA view uh, okay, before going to peer view, uh, I must tell you that what is the protocol of writing your answer in your exam or giving your answer to the examiner in your exam. That first thing that you uh, must write is that this is X-ray. Okay, number two, you have to write the you have to write that which uh, region is shown here. Like here, chest is shown, X-ray chest and neck is also shown. So X-ray chest and neck. And after that, you must tell that and after that, you must try the abnormality. First thing, write X-ray, lateral view, PA view, AP view, whatever it is. And after that, write the region of neck, of skull, of chest. And then after that, write abnormality. Like here, you can clearly see I have shown you dentures in the previous video. Dentures are artificial teeth. And it's some portion is radiolucent while the metallic hooks are radio opaque, so they can be seen clearly here at the level of the thoracic inlet. I have also told you about the thoracic inlet in the previous video that how you can locate the thoracic inlet. So you have to write in your exam that this is PA view neck and chest with denture at the level of the thoracic inlet. This is your lateral view of neck and chest. Okay, mainly neck is shown here. So with metallic with the same metallic hooks at thoracic inlet. And here you can also see that here you can read the vertebrae. I have told you that you must read the vertebrae from below upwards so that it will become easy for you. And above and in front of the vertebrae is the esophagus and there is the trachea as here is shown in black color. So here you can say that this is the X-ray lateral view of neck with foreign body or safety pin shown in the esophagus and this safety pin is also directed downwards and this safety pin is open as well this is the higher bone this is there is no abnormality here don't confuse with it here you can also see that in as arrows always indicate any abnormality so this is the esophagus and above there is airway and here is foreign body in the airway and mainly larynx you if you don't want to uh, confuse or if you don't want to go deep into it that either it is trachea or larynx simply write that there is foreign body in the uh, in the airway and as here um, i'm sorry okay so the next one here is that you can see that here arrow is in uh, arrow is just pointing here and this is your esophagus and this is your trachea in black color but this trachea is compressed at this particular region where arrow is shown and this is because of this shadow and what is this shadow of this is this shadow is of thyroidal mass so due to thyroid mass trachea is compressed in the next as this thyroidal mass such type of mass cannot be seen in any type of x-rays i have shown you before like you can also see here there is no such thyroidal mass shown here is any abnormality so this thyroid is enlarged enlarged here so its shadow is also increased here this is the pa view you can also see from this clavicle you can also see that there is no um, scapular shadow shown here and moreover you can also see from the skull here that this is the pa view and here a radio opaque object is seen here mainly at the level of the thoracic inlet and they have written that this is present in the esophagus mainly you cannot clearly say that or you cannot say with any surety that this particular radio opaque or whatever object it is or it is foreign body this foreign body is present in the esophagus or in the airway you have to do the lateral view of the skull as well 
skull neck head and neck as well in order to see that either this foreign body is present in the mm, esophagus or airway after that again you can see lateral view of the neck and showing a foreign body in the esophagus this is not present in the trachea as trachea is shown in the black color here you can again see that this is the pa view clearly you can appreciate no sh scapular shadow as well and here is a ring or foreign body present at the level of the thoracic inlet again here you can see clearly if you count the vertebrae one two three four five six seven and this one is eight so you can clearly see that at the level of the seventh and eighth vertebrae a foreign body is shown in the esophagus mainly and this is a chicken bone here you can again say that that a foreign body or radio opaque foreign body is seen in the right bronchus and this is mainly your pa view because your floating ribs can also be seen and moreover this is a nail okay this is the pa view chest and why most of the foreign bodies lodge in the right bronchus or in the right lung because right bronchus is more in line with the right lung as compared to the left bronchus and left lung here just look at it carefully here you can see clearly that this is again the pa view this is again the pa view okay so just see here that this is the right lobe of the diaphragm this is right side and this is left side your left side is right side on chest x-ray and your right side is left side on chest x-ray and you can here clearly see that right lobe of the diaphragm is shifted upwards and moreover you can see that here is increased black colored shadow on the left side as in emphysema there are increased number of air spaces in the lungs so left on left side emphysema is shown but on right side the dome of the diaphragm is also upward and moreover this whole mediastinum is shifted towards the right in mediastinum there is mainly heart so uh, normally normal heart shadow is not so much on right side only a slight portion like this this is such uh, only a small portion of the uh, right heart is shown but uh, in a normal x-ray but here you can see that much larger shadow is shown on the right side so you can see clearly that mediastinum is shifted slightly towards the right side okay and atelectasis or of the right lung has also been shown okay so what is this pa chest in a child with a radiolucent foreign body or a peanut in the right bronchus as it is radiolucent so we cannot clearly appreciate it here so you can write that collapse of right lung and shift of mediastinum to the right side has occurred and raised dome of diaphragm has also been seen on the right side and emphysema is shown in the left side here again this is the pa view okay what is this this is again the pa view and it shows hairpin in the it is hairpin if you see it clearly a hairpin is shown in the right bronchus okay so here here if you have seen the previous video you can clearly appreciate that this pre vertebral shadow has been increased its width, width has been increased much more than the width of the vertebral body so it is a case of the retropharyngeal abscess or acute infection of the retropharyngeal space can be seen clearly here and here you can see that this is the hypodermic needle or hypodermic injection needle that can be seen in the trachea as you can look at that this is your trachea okay i have shown it in you in previous video here you can again see that pre vertebral shadow has been increased here you can see that this is the thyroidal mass and inside it there are some calcifications present so that was all for today thank you very much